hear that? Probably take whatever whatever is going on. Like there's a noise that's probably taking place somewhere else. It sounds like the radio announcements they they made at the very beginning, but it's not the ones that Virgil made. It's the ones that uh, which one were they? I'm not sure. You mean from Raptor? Oh, gotta charge my computer. Here, you take the steering for a bit. All right. Just shoot. Dante's bullets seem to fire pretty fast. All right. Look at this. Look at it. It looks like he's shooting too, but when you press the button a couple of times, it looks like he's firing twice as many bullets as your It's like his guns are designed to be submachine guns instead of guns. Yeah. If, in fact, when Nick played Dante originally in DMC1 in our playthrough then, um, the gun, it felt like for every time you pressed the shot button, you fired a, a certain amount of bullets. Should have switched the perks immediately. Where you see where I've been fun to use Royal Gun right there, you can't use it. Did. Did you you saw me just dodge in air just now? You just dodge, but it didn't move yet. Ooh. Tell me that got me some green orbs. No, it did not. You told me to shoot down the green cocoon earlier. What were you thinking? There's an angel jump over there. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not salty either. This is just uh, a minor inconvenience. Environmental kills got them. Where are the green orbs to help me now, though? Every time I acquire them, they've always just been unnecessarily in my sight. Great, I'm dead. Wait, so I have to start again? We'll see from there. You start at the Harvey battle, or... Oh, no! From a checkpoint. Yeah, that's what I... Um, like, uh, honestly, I could deal with it. It's just in the time frame that we have. Remember shooting. Maybe it was because I got too close to them before. Alright, no more dying as of here on. Yes. Yes. Just no more dying at the hands of the one enemy that shouldn't be two pathways. died at. Two pathways. Which one should I take? Uh, oh, never mind. It, there isn't any. It just looks like it could travel there, but there's no whip. There's no way to, uh, to dash across. It's only this one from here on. I don't know what's worse, getting a death or using a gold orb? Gold orb. What? I that should have stopped him. That should have caused some hits done there. Uh, heaven. Badass. No, he isn't. Yeah, he is. Blue. No, but I can hit him with my Arbiter. Blue enemies cannot be hit with a red weapon. Look, I can even hit him with Rebel. Not him, the fat ass behind you. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the two smaller ones. Dodge button. Right, right. The whole Arbiter locked in animation. 
wonder if I could go higher. Can't. You have enemies to beat. I know, I wanted to see if I can find a shortcut. Just use them to jump there. They are the shortcut. Yeah, I just hate doing that though. I'm getting a little tired. It's not fun anymore. Another dodge. There we go. Can I double jump and get into that hole that formerly had the angel? Yes, I can. This was where the key had been? I don't- oh, well, never mind. I was wrong. Door opened. That was pretty good. I'm gonna talk a little louder though, because it's- my microphone doesn't pick that up. I don't think it's doing it right now either. No, it's fine. Okay. Kill all enemies within the timeline. Enemy, enemies and Dante die within one end. Okay, so it's a simulation of, uh, ha uh, Dante must die mode. Okay, what do we have here? You gotta kill them all, but they all die. They all die with one hit. You die with one hit. I know. I, I understand it. If anything, I'd say you should use a uh, overdrive. Uh, I need to take the flying enemies out. They're um, they're sort of an um. Uh, I think it's imperative I deal with them. Is there anything else here? Perfect. The rest becomes a simple chore. Mm -hmm. 11 kills in less than a few seconds. Pretty nice. Felt like Dante must die mode there, but of course, that was just momentarily. Okay, we have not talked about detail of this game in a while. I guess I could start by giving a little bit of credit to some of the actors, like Cat's motion capture actress. Have you seen her during an interview? She's actually super cute. The girl, Sage Mears. She actually looks really, really uh, adorable. Dude, she does. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm but uh, but, um, but yeah. But the she new... did a pretty good job for being so young. Yeah, for being a character like this. Oh, hold on, my cell phone is going off. All right, yeah. In fact, a lot of uh, like I said, it's all it's all brand new. Even though the, the director of this game is the same one from DMC two, three, and four, so uh, he directed one great game and two questionable ones. And notice how I didn't say bad; I just said questionable. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, we're we're going to talk a little more about the detail of this game. Now, where do we go? Down here. That's where that's where it uh, disappeared from. Right, because we're, we're uh, treading back. Who's there? It is I. Oh, haha. -ha. You have it? Have you? I think this marks the end of the mission. Or the beginning of it. I can see. I can see. Oh, I get that too. Get it? Cause I, cause can, and cause freaking see. Ha ha. You know me? No. I know your father, Sparta. I can see him in you. Sparta was a demon. I'm nothing like him. No. Of course. You are never. I can see that too. What are you? 
Phineas, scholar, inventor, prophet. Makes me think of Phineas and Ferb. And until you arrived, political prisoner of Mundus, I am grateful. It wasn't a favor. You said you'd take me to that tower. Of course, my friend. Of course. This way. And that's the end of that chapter. Hmm. I'm guessing he's gonna be the one who teaches you about the devil trigger. Possibly. Anyway, we're done here, alright? And you still got an S, and you died. Yeah. Funny how that works. Ugh. This Nephilim mode makes slightly sickened me. Alright. Um, see you guys next time on part 8, or mission 8. Is this mission 8 or mission 9? This is, I think this is 8, um, and next one is 9, even though next one is actually right, mission 8. Because the storyline feels very short, um, and the gameplay is a lot longer than I anticipated. I will admit, the level design, it goes on a lot longer without retreading. That's one good point about it. Okay, guys, see you next time and in the following mission.